Hey guys, what's up? So in the last video, we showed how to use a built-in feature that basically says when I query the database and the object doesn't exist, deliver a 404. You can see that we have a page not found. There is no 404 to display, which is better than our application blowing up, but it's not what we want. So we want to go ahead and add a custom 404 page. It's important for websites to have a consistent 404. Uh, a lot of, um, like with, uh, I don't know, some people try to be cute with it. For instance, um, Bloomberg's redesign, this is their 404 page. It's an animated GIF. It says, oh, 404 page not found. And anytime you try to query a page that doesn't exist in Bloomberg, you're going to get this little, you know, cute animation that's pretty cool and everything. So um, we're not going to do anything as, as, you know, as sophisticated in our site, but we are going to have um, a consistent 404 uh, that should be displayed instead of a page not found. Um, which, by the way, this is a uh, debug error message that only exists in Django because we have our settings um, debug mode turned on. So if we went up to our settings and we said debug equals true, that's why we're actually getting that. If we had false, um, you would get nothing. But we're not, we're not going to. In fact, I'll just set it to false right now. you can see we get nothing. Uh, actually, it's because of our allowed host. We're not going to get into that in this video. I'm sorry. Never mind. Um, I'm not going to get down that road. Not yet, anyway. So make sure that's true. But the, the whole point is that you get these helpful error messages when you're in debug mode. And whenever you're developing, you want to get those helpful error messages so you can figure out what you know what's wrong with your app. So here it is. Um, we have this 404 page not found. So let's go ahead and and fix that. If we look at um, Django's documentation, it actually talks about this and it says that um, customizing your error view. So you could have uh, you know, this custom 404 uh, page not found. Before we get into too much of the specifics, one thing I did want to mention in the URLs file, which is creating some sort of confusion, uh, my editor once again kind of messed me over a little bit. And it used the old way, uh, which isn't the Django 1.9 way of defining your URLs pattern. You don't need to use this tuple anymore or this stuff. So let's go ahead and get rid of that now. All it needs to be is an open square brace and a closed square brace because it's just a Python list of URLs. So URL patterns equals um, and just like that. So let's go ahead and do the same thing instead of here. don't even need that empty URL right there. That was always kind of an ugly bastard, to be honest with you. Uh, we are missing one parenthesis there. At least I thought so. Okay, that's good. We only need one. All right, so let's uh, let's make sure this thing still runs here. One second. And since we made those changes, I just want to go ahead and just see if the app's still running right. Okay, good. All right, that's all fine. All right, so that, that makes things a little bit easier to read, I think. So one of the nice features um, in, in Django 1.9 is that you used to have to actually mess with your URL patterns in order to be able to display a custom 404 error message. But the way this thing is supposed to work is in your root template directory, you should be able to just put in um, a 404 page and then have it referenced. So um, let's go ahead and, and try to do that now. We're going to create an HTML page, and we'll just call it 404. It needs to be titled 404.html, though, in order for it to work. And I want to make use of the layout, so let's go ahead and and do that here. So this is our page not found. Not nearly as cool as the Bloomberg one, but should be good enough. OK, 
Okay, let me, we might have to restart the server. Now, in order for this new template that we just added to actually be able to work, you're, you have to actually get out of debug mode, which is what I just uh, had touched upon earlier and didn't want to explain it at that time, but I'm going to explain it now. This 404 page is actually a helpful debug message saying, hey, the page is not found. It's meant to be helpful for you, but it's not meant to actually be served up um, to the customer. So we're in debug mode, and typically when you're debugging your app, you want to know when there's a 404. You don't want the like helpful customer 404 page. So if we um, if we go ahead and we change and we go to our settings.py uh, file and we change our debug mode to false, we need to go ahead and add a new feature in Django 1.9, which is um, something called a loud host. And it's going to be um, just a an actual Python list of allowed hosts. And what that means is um, actual domains that you allow to run your application outside of debug mode. If you want to allow any domain, which is what we want to do, you're just going to have one single string, which is star, which means match any domain. So it could be example.com or it could be newmovies.com. It doesn't matter where this thing is deployed, it's going to run outside of debug mode because we allowed the uh, allowed host to, you know, this star to match everything. So if I went ahead and I restarted the server, the new template should now work. And you can see that in a production environment, because we have debugger turned off, this 404 HTML template is now being rendered for all our 404 pages. It's not as cool as the Bloomberg one, unfortunately, but you can go ahead and get an animated GIF if you wanted to and, and get it you know, looking like this if, if that's what you absolutely wanted to do. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.